boys and girls, and welcome back. This week in art, we are creating a castle, and we are applying texture to the castle by creating a rubbing of different textures that we can find around the house. You will need different textures, such as baskets or cardboard or feathers or leaves, anything that you can find. You'll also need crayons to create the rubbing and that helps allow the texture to come through. To start, we'll begin by drawing our castle with our pencil. We're gonna draw a horizontal line that goes across our paper from one side to the other. That is our ground line or the horizon line. Then we're gonna draw the entrance to the castle, which is like a big arch or a rainbow. From that, you will draw two diagonal lines that go from the center to the edge of the paper, and that is going to be the walkway to the castle. I'm drawing some straight lines that go from the castle to the edge of the paper, and they are going to create the floorboards or the planks, the wooden planks in our castle's flooring. So that way they can walk across the water and enter the castle. On either side of the arch, we're gonna draw two vertical lines. And now we're gonna draw some lines that mimic that shape that you see on all the castles. It's a horizontal line and then a line that is vertical that goes straight up and down, a line that goes across, back up, and over. Then we're gonna draw the towers for our castle. So we're drawing some long vertical lines. And then we're going to close them together with an arch that comes across. And then at the top of the tower, we have a triangle. We're gonna add some more of those very popular lines, that little castle line that goes over, down, up, over, down, across, to the edge of our paper. And then we're gonna add some more towers in the back behind that little castle pattern that we've created. So two vertical lines that go up you can have them be very tall or short, however you want, and then close them up with an arch and a triangle for the roof on top. I'm gonna add some windows so I'm drawing a straight horizontal line and an arch to connect them. Drawing some little windows on the castle part piece that goes in the back. And some bigger windows that go in the front of the towers. So on each tower, I am drawing two little windows. And I'm gonna make my castle symmetrical. So I'm adding another tower in the back. Symmetrical means the same on both sides. So on one side, I have three towers. And on the other side, I have three towers. So I wanna make the castle symmetrical. The same on both sides. Now that I have the castle the way I want it, I can add details, I can add a little line that goes around the door, I can add some flags at the top of the towers, 
anything that I want to add to give that castle a little bit more unique and creativity to it. So this is where you're gonna add lots of different details. Once you have all your details the way that you want it, the castle looks just like you want it, you can go in with your black marker and trace around all your pencil lines and make sure that you erase your pencil lines when you're done. I'm filling in all the different windows and the inside of the door with the black marker. Now if you're in school, I will be giving you these texture plates. But if you're not in school, if you are at home, you can find different textures with lids and with the side of baskets. Those have some excellent textures to them. You can even find a feather that has texture, anything that you have. Sometimes ribbons have textures. You can use a fork. You can use the top of a lid that has texture to it. Look around and see the, all the different textures that you have. And what you're going to do is you're gonna place that object behind your picture and you're gonna take a crayon and rub, rub, rub that crayon over the texture and that decoration, those different textures that it has, is going to come through onto the paper. And it's going to show all those different designs that that texture is going to create. So I found this lid that has these little dots in it and it's creating this little dotted texture for the moat that goes around the castle. So a moat is a body of water that goes around the castle. So I am coloring in with my blue crayon and coloring in the moat. I have my texture behind the moat and I'm coloring in just that space that I want for the moat. So I'm making sure that I'm not coloring the bridge in with that blue crayon because if I color in the bridge with that blue crayon then it's gonna look like water and I want the bridge to look like a wooden plank that is going across the water. I'm gonna do that with each of my different textures I'm going to place the object behind each section so that I have lots of different textures behind each area. And I'm just using that texture to make sure that each section has lots of different details and lots of different textures in it. So I'm placing it behind while I color on top of it and press down hard. And there we have it, boys and girls. We have created a castle with lots of different types of textures. I use these different baskets to create the different textures. I cannot wait to see all the different items you find to create your textures. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.